This is a Comfort Air variable speed furnace with a Gentech 2.3 variable speed ECM motor. I'm going to show you how to change that motor with an Azure quick swap board and an Azure motor. With the power off, step one is to disconnect the harnesses of the motor. This is a 16 pin communication harness and then we have a power harness here. Step two is to take the harnesses now and plug them into the quick swap board. And this is going to allow us to confirm that the quick swap board can communicate with the OEM board. As long as it can communicate, then we'll proceed with the motor change out. If it can't communicate, it's very possible that the HVAC control board has been damaged along with the motor. Step three, apply power to the system. Okay, we have a solid red communication LED and we have a flashing amber LED, which indicates that the quick swap board is communicating correctly with the OEM control board. If any of these relays had come on, there's a procedure in the appendix to go through the dip switches to further configure this board. But in this case, we are good to proceed with the motor change out. got the 2.3 motor out next to the Azure motor. Here's the quick swap board. And remember the factory harnesses that plug into this motor will now plug into quick swap. And then the Azure motor will connect up to the quick swap board. Now in the Azure motor we have a voltage jumper, we have a rotation jumper, a ground wire, a neutral, and some speed taps. The motor is in, spins freely, I've got the wires oriented at the bottom of the motor, so if any condensation comes down the wires, it will not run into the motor. Okay, the blower is back in place. Here is the Azure wire harness. We'll go ahead and lower the OEM control board. The final step is to reattach the OEM harnesses to the quick swap board. I have the 16 wire harness here and the 3 wire power harness over here. Also attach the speed taps from the Azure motor to the board and we're ready to give this a test. And to give it power, we're going to jumper the uh, high speed cool on right now. Relay has clicked and the blower motor is gradually ramping up to speed. So we have operation. Lastly, install the quick swap board in a safe location inside the cabinet using the included hardware kit. There's a thermistor that also must be mounted up on the coil. You can use this clip right here. The thermistor provides additional control to the quick swap board. It also optimizes airflow when the compressor is running. Lastly, if you don't have perfect airflow in any of the three speed taps, you can use the optional handheld programmer to dial in the CFM during your heat rise tests. And that's all there is to installing the quick swap Azure board. Like many motors, this Azure motor has five speed taps. But what if you're doing temperature rise measurements and you can't quite get the right airflow with your five speeds? With this Azure motor, you can attach the handheld programmer and essentially give yourself approximately 80 speeds. And you can use the programmer while the motor is running and dial in the CFM to get your temperature rise perfect. With the power off, I've got the programmer attached to a 24 volt source, and the other end is plugged in to the Azure motor. We'll flip the power onto the unit. The programmer is going to display the amount of torque that the motor is currently applying on this particular speed tap. So, right now it's at 36% of its maximum torque. If we were doing a temperature rise and we wanted to change the airflow, we can increase the airflow in 1% increments. I can do it kind of quickly here if I move like so. And let's say we want to go back down to 40. We can bring it back down and then to lock it in simply press the S1 button for about three seconds. The 
programmer will say, okay, the motor will shut off briefly and then come back on. And then to lock this in, we remove power to the unit. Now this tool can then be disconnected from the Azure motor and removed from the 24 volt source and we're all done. Keep in mind that this tuning should be done with the blower door closed.